Yes, I shifted the camera slightly to the right. All right, successful or close? Okay, now this, see that? You're gonna continue, 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 and you're gonna be agree, and you're going to click the top one. Don't even ask, you're asking, don't. Continue, okay, install, continue installation, or enter, whichever you prefer. Now this is gonna run, and like, good for you. Um, that's awesome. I'm so happy you're alive. All right, and then it's gonna be like, hopping because it's weird oh look oh let's go rest no don't don't restart don't you can minimize if you don't just don't even minimize leave it there don't restart here's what you do go to applications right see this one kext utility yeah see that click and drag it bam if you don't see it you will because you have my exact components if you don't see it go here open in finder and then bam look around it's there but you found it because you're not stupid okay now we can do go to the dock menu click finder bam opens a new finder window or you can go file, new finder window, or command N, which is alt N if you have a PC um, keyboard. So, from there you're going to go to, I called it kex crap, but you called it something like, I don't know, ramen noodles, something like that, whatever, I don't know. Extra, then you go to extensions, and you see all these little things that look like crappy Lego pieces. Yeah. Click and drag all of those into kex utility. And type in your long password again. And then you wait for it to load. And it takes a rather long time. It's done. Okay, quit. And then you have this thing right here, uh, which you can click. No, don't, don't even, shh, don't do that at all. I kid. Now you're gonna go to Update Helper, and then that's gonna pile right on top of itself. Clean up. Actually, I'm gonna erase the original um, zip files just to save some space. Then empty my trash. And then this can go here. These two can go there. Sorry about this. My bad. Okay. And then put Kex Utility back into your applications folder. There you go. What did I tell you to run? Oh yeah, update helper. Run that. And then go to continue, install. And you are done. That was easy. Now you're gonna have to reboot your computer. With iBoot still in the disk drive. Okay. So all you're gonna have to do for this is oh oh, it's right here. That's why you kept it open. That isn't that just fantastic? Look, now you reboot. It says restart, but synonyms, whatever. Look how great this is. Oh my gosh. This is insane. It's just restarting. Okay. And then basically do the same thing you did again. It'll, it'll boot through iBoot. And once it boots through iBoot, go back to your drive, or whatever you called it, a pasta salad, whatever and boot from that, and I'll be back once mine's booted. And we're back. Okay, we're gonna decide later again. We're gonna eject my two gigabytes of fun, or eight gigabytes of win, or this is two gigabytes of fun. Take that little silly thing out of there. That's what it looks like in case you gave a crap, because I know you don't. Ah, dropped it. Good thing it's solid state, because all flash drives are, and solid state's awesome. It's faster, way faster, and you can throw it around. No moving parts, so it's more secure. Uh, anyways, you're like, oh man, I don't see much of a difference. Well, guess what? There's no difference whatsoever. But you just needed to do that, trust me. Now, since you've rebooted, everything's good. You're going to now cross your fingers. Actually, uh, let's check something first. System preferences. And you're going to network. And you're going to be like, oh no, it's not, it's not working. Why, why not? Okay, well, this is okay. Let's simply go back to MultiBeast. Here it is. And the little tomato. Continue, continue, continue. Uh, agree. And you're going to go back to drivers and bootloaders, kex and enablers, networks, and then now you're going to install this top one. Yes, the top one. Uh, wait, no, you already installed the top one first. I uh, kid, you're going to install the bottom one, the real tight gigabyte. Ethernet 2.0.6, install 7.709 gigabytes. You're going to click install. You're going to click Y because that's your password. You did nothing else because you listened to TJ third person, and you followed instructions. That was your orders. I have one Apple sticker left, in, uh, in case you guys are wondering. That's, that's my Apple sticker. All right, come on. Okay, installation was successful. And you're gonna be like, whoa, so my internet works now? Oh, system preferences, network. Oh, oh no, it still says it doesn't work. Oh, it's because it doesn't work, okay? It's not going to work. It will eventually, okay, I'm not, okay, it will, okay. 
Go to Mac OS 10 Update Combo. Skip the verification. That's stupid. You're going to click that. Continue, continue, continue. Agree. You're going to click. Wait, install. And you're going to... Why? Enter. And you're going to continue installation because it's super crazy about it. Like, oh no, do you really want to do it? Anyways, I'll be back when this is finished. Alright, while this is loading, I thought I'd show you guys something. Okay, so you have your 2 uh, gigabyte drive, right? Let's say it only works for like Windows, like, man, crap, it won't work on my Mac. This is what you're gonna do. Plug it in, and you're gonna go, go, then Utilities, and then you're gonna go to Disk Utility, and then there will be your, um, okay, it's gonna be a little slow, because it's just oh, updating the entire operating system. No big deal. Uh, you know what, I'll just explain it. We're, okay, okay, here we go. Uh, mine's actually not plugged in. Let's pretend this is my, uh, this is a time machine. I highly recommend getting one of these. Not from Apple, they suck. They break down, that's why terrible reviews. Get a, just like a Toshiba drive and use it as one. I have a WD, they suck, don't get those either. Uh, you go to Erase, then you're gonna go to Mac, or MS-DOS FAT and then name it something. That's universal, it'll work Mac and PC. If you already have stuff on it and you don't wanna erase everything, back it up to your PC first or whatever, just format it here. Things format better for PC on Mac than they do in PC. It makes no sense, but Apple never makes sense, so just get used to it. So that's all I want to show you. Just in case um, I forgot, you know, if your USB isn't working, that's how you format it to get it to work. And then you can put all the stuff on it. Okay, there you go. And I'll be back once again, again, when this is finished. Okay, so now you're done, right? Good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to... Alright, uh, it's not recording again because it does that. Anyways, you're going to reboot, but you reboot um, without iBoot. You take iBoot out and then, you know, when it goes back to the um, main screen, you push delete rapidly. Keep pushing delete over and over again. Not rapidly, but you just keep pushing delete to get to the uh, BIOS, as you know. Oh, my camera's a little battery. I have to get new batteries. What you're going to do here is you're going to go to the... I think it keeps stopping because it's low on battery. Anyways, you go to the advanced BIOS. I'll switch the battery. Oh, I'll switch it right now. Be right back. Alright, sorry about that. I had to go charge my battery for a little bit. Anyways, so from the BIOS menu, you're going to be going down to advanced BIOS features. And then back down here, remember I was like, oh yeah, change the first boot to CD? Well, great. You're done with that. Now it's going to be back to hard disk. And then keep the second and third both disabled. Go back, escape, go back, obviously. Then go to save and exit setup again, click enter. And then your computer is going to boot up from the disk without iBoot. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work on my computer, considering I have multiple partitions. Oh, I know exactly how. All right, I click any key. I'm going to go, oh, what's this? It automatically is going to boot from Kex crap anyways. That's good. Well, if you do, if you click any key, you can just hover over. This is how you would actually multi-boot, or dual boot, sorry, I always said multi, I was thinking multi-beast because of the little guy up there. But you can dual boot this way easily by just clicking any key and go, oh, I want to load from Windows or any of my other partitions. But yeah, let's just load from the normal partition. And if we're any luck, it's going to start the spinning wheel. That's good. Like I said before a thousand times, if you see that wheel, you should just, just get on your knees and kiss the ground and thank heavens above because something is working if that wheel is spinning. That is a very good thing. Anyways, I'll just be back when this is done loading.